Hey everybody, Scott Blair, the Digital Marketing MBA, back with a little video for you. And this video is gonna be a little bit off topic compared to my normal videos, so it's not directly about marketing or making money online, um, but it is something that I think is gonna benefit you in both your life and in your business. So I felt like it was important to share with you. Now, of course, that being said, if you do wanna learn about marketing for your small business, making money online, e-commerce, um, just becoming a, running a social media marketing agency or becoming a better entrepreneur or business person, do us all a favor, hit that little subscribe button there below and the little bell icon so that you know when I release new videos and I promise you, I will add value to whatever you're doing and, and provide value that other internet gurus are charging thousands of dollars for in their courses. I'm going to show you that stuff here free. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and, and see if I don't hold true to that. Now, if you've ever watched the movie Limitless, it has this drug in it called, let me look at my notes, NZT48. And basically what happens is if you take this pill, it kind of turns your brain into the superhuman levels of performance and super high intelligence, super high IQ, right? Pretty slick. So I'm making this video because I found something I believe is like the limitless pill. Um, I know that's a big claim, right? Now, not all the way like the limitless pill, but it was enough that I found it surprising and enough that I feel compelled to make a video about it. Um, it is a supplement that I believe is making me happier, more focused and energized. So let me tell you a little bit about this and how it came about. So this started when I was listening to Dave Asprey's uh, book on Audible called Game Changers. And I will put a link below for you guys to that book and you can probably get it for free if you already don't have Audible. Uh, because Audible normally offers like a free 30 days. You get your first book for free if you do their trial. So just sign up for their trial. Get the book Game Changers by Dave Asprey and listen to it. It's phenomenal. It talks about a million ways to increase your performance from, from eating to sleeping to what we're going to talk about here today and, and a whole lot of other different things from high performing people. It's a really fascinating listen or read uh, depending on how you pick it up. But I'll put that link down there so you can go to Audible and get it for free. If you already have Audible, I recommend just using one of your credits to get it. It's definitely worth listening to. Um, it's, it's really fascinating. So anyways, I get to this one section in the book on nootropics. And basically those are just, uh, my understanding is chemicals or foods or drugs or supplements, anything that can really improve brain function. And after listening to this portion of the, of the book, I got really curious about it and decided that I was going to try out some of these ideas and kind of become a guinea pig myself and experiment on myself with them. So the first thing that I tried that they, they recommend was a over the counter nootropic was nicotine. Now I'm not a smoker. I've never smoked. I don't like smoking, but I thought because I had never smoked that nicotine might stimulate me like someone who's never drank coffee uh, or maybe caffeine or, and having their first uh, cup of coffee, right? Uh, plus my weight is up beyond where I would like it to be. And I know that nicotine offers a appetite suppressant kind of effect on a lot of people. So honestly, I was hoping for that too. So I bought some of that Nicorette type of gum. Um, I did exactly how the directions say to do it. And I tried it like twice and I can't do it. Um, this isn't a review on that and I'm not going to spend any more time on it. Um, but I didn't really notice an effect, um, in my mentality from doing that in my brain. Um, and I didn't really, maybe a little bit of stimulation, maybe a little bit of appetite suppressant, but you know what? The appetite suppressant may come from the fact that I was nauseated. Um, the taste was horrible and it was strange for me. I'm not a smoker. But I got that burn in my throat 
um, like I had smoked a cigarette or something. A couple times I had tried to smoke when I was younger or got around people that were smoking. I got that same burn. Um, so it's not from the smoke. It must be from the nicotine. Uh, it was horrible. I couldn't do it. So I decided to move on and play guinea pig on myself again with the next thing. So the next thing I moved on to was not specifically mentioned in Dave's book, but lion's mane was one of the things that was talked about. And so I began to Google nootropics, um, over the counter options. And one brand that kept popping up and up over and over was the genius brand and this p particular product, uh, genius consciousness. And so I checked it out on Amazon and it had a ton of amazing reviews, pretty new company last couple of years. I'm in my understanding, uh, but a lot of great reviews. So I thought, why not? Now, the first day I took this, I had just got to my mom's. Now my mom's going to watch it. So, you know, I'm telling you the truth, right? Long drive back to Ohio, just got to my mom's, um, for spring break. And I took this, I was tired. I was hoping it would really just kind of give me some energy. I had to, some work to do. I was hoping it would give me some mental clarity to get that work done. Now I noticed two things 30 minutes after taking it and I was shocked by it. I mean, really, really shocked by it enough again to make this video. Uh, the first thing was I, I had that entrepreneur's kind of shiny object syndrome, right? So if I start into a project, I've got to have a recording device or a pen and pay paper next to me because whenever I start into a project, I think, oh my gosh, this could apply to that. And I need to make a note, use this on that. Make sure you add this. Like I have 40 things going on at the same time. Maybe it's ADHD, ADD. I don't know. I've never been diagnosed with that, but this is how I describe the effect that genius consciousness had on me, right? My mind is like on my computer browser right now. I have multiple windows open, like half a dozen always at a time, right? So I'm waiting on Facebook to load. I jump over and look at something else. And then I jump over and look at something else. And then I jump back to see if the Facebook is loaded. And then I go and check the email. And I, I just, I constantly am moving between those windows. That is my brain, right? So I have multiple windows open always in my brain. And when I took this supplement and I drank it 30 minutes later, I was shocked because I felt like all those windows had shut down and I only had one and I almost couldn't force another window open. Um, and it was strange to me because I was really focused, but I almost felt in slow motion. It was almost too slow for me. Um, but man, I was really, I, I just wasn't distracted like that. I was really honed in. I imagine, and I don't know if this thing, I haven't read anywhere that this thing's supposed to help with like ADHD, ADD tendencies. Um, it's, it, I don't believe it's for that, but it affected me that way. So I imagine like a kid who's hyperactive ADHD takes Ritalin. This is what happens to them. They become focused, right? I don't know. I've never taken that, but, but that's what happened to me. So all the windows shut down. I only had one window open and I was really able to focus. Now, the second thing that happened, um, was that it really made me giddy. Um, I was grinning and I almost that juvenile giddy. Like when, when you've heard something kind of funny and you're in sixth grade and the teacher keeps telling you to, to be quiet or you get in trouble, but in your mind that, that funny things running over and over and you just really want to bust out laughing, you know, you can't look at your friend or you're going to laugh. But I had almost that crap eating grin just on my face and I, and I'm standing there trying to explain to my wife and my mother, what I was feeling from the supplement. And I just felt giddy. I wanted to kind of laugh, but I didn't want them to think I was high or weird or something. So I was holding it in. I really was. So again, I don't know anything about nootropics or these chemicals or how this is supposed to work or anything else. I'm imagining I'm not that dumb of a guy that it's some type of serotonin dump or release because I felt really good. I felt really happy. Um, again, it was a super long drive and exhausting day. I thought it'd be a great time since I felt so giddy to try to meditate before I got some work done. So I went down to do like a 30 minute guided meditation and I actually, uh, nodded off during it. I was really relaxed, but I was really tired from the drive. 
But I woke right back up. I was still really focused and, and still in a really good, happy mood. Um, now, I've never achieved that first high again, right? So I think people say that about uh, heroin and some different drugs, right? You're chasing that first high again. Um, I never did get that extreme with the joy or the grinning or the happiness again. Um, and maybe not even that extreme of the focus again. Um, but the effects have been consistent the entire time I've been taking it, which I just ordered my second box of it or second container of it today. Um, and so I'm about six weeks into uh, taking this supplement. So again, it's not as strong as it was, but it has been consistent. I consistently have been feeling a little bit of that giddiness. Um, I don't know another word to call it. A little bit of that happiness that it provides, um, good mood, joy, and, and focus. Now, I've also only been taking half a scoop. I've never went to the full scoop. It does recommend starting at half and eventually going to the full scoop. I've stayed at the half scoop. Number one, I've been getting an effect from it, so I'm just going to stay there. Number two, it's more economical for me to stay there, and I'm always frugal and about saving money, so I'm going to stay at the half scoop. Now, like anything else, I'm sure I'm going to become immune to the effects of it once it's, it's built up in my system. When half a scoop stops working for me, I'm going to take a couple weeks off, probably do some fasting in that time, reset my receptors, then I'll go back on it. So I'll cycle on and off of it just so I can maintain at the half a scoop um, and, and keep getting a good results from it. So I do bulletproof coffee in the morning and then I've been using this in the afternoons. Um, I mix half a scoop in with my bottle of water and I just shake it up and I make sure I drink it all within 30 minutes and then probably within 15 or 30 minutes after finishing it, I'm already starting to feel the effect. So this is what the box looks like that it comes in. So you guys can see it right there. I'm going to put a link below to the product so that you can go and try it out. Um, it's about $37 and some change if you have Amazon Prime with the free, sh with the free shipping. Um, so about 38 bucks. Again, I take one, half a scoop about midday on work days, Monday through Friday. So this container is roughly a six week supply for me. So 38 bucks, a lot of times you look at a supplement and you're like, ooh, 38 bucks, especially at one scoop and if you're doing it every day. But if you take it the way I'm taking it, half a scoop, I'm getting results. Going five day work weeks, I don't take it on the weekend. Um, it's, it's turning into a six week supply. And plus that 48 hours off is probably helping me still get the benefits from it and my receptors aren't getting all clogged up with it. I'm, it's still pretty new in my system. Um, so if you are taking this or you start taking this, will you do me a favor? Just leave a comment below. I am so curious to know if it benefits anybody else like it has me, especially someone I recommend it to. That would be cool. And if it doesn't, you can comment that too, man. I, I felt nothing. It did nothing for me. I'm really curious if any of you feel giddy and happy on it like I do, uh, or you have that ADD reaction where your 10 open windows shut down to one um, and how that makes you feel. It was really awkward for me. It kind of freaked me out the first night um, that, that that happened. So please, please leave your comments. Let me know if you have positive results with that, if you have any other questions about it. I hope this helps and I'll put a little bit more information below in the description um, as I think about it. I can add it and update it. All right. Appreciate it, guys.